to enjoy virtual dj features to the fullest here is a view of the best virtual dj settings you need to have or you need to work with irrespective of the dj gear or dj appliance you are using but one thing you need to know there is you cannot work with this without a mapping but first let's get to look at the settings first at the top you can see your play mode should always be on stutter because you are going to be doing a lot of trick playing with this you have your cue everything should be neatly the way it is here and make sure anything smart quantize is turned off because when you are putting it on smart you are making the device to control you while when you are supposed to be the one controlling the device so you can see clearly here and the reason is this don't forget the dj the dj wall is not like the ai environment that you allow the device to control everything so if you do that you will get yourself into trouble so follow every setting as you can see here just smoothly copy it follow it gradually to this end and you will be at the top to enjoy every feature that comes with it so just follow it your pitch range should be around 50 your beat matching should be smart but for the yes should be a smart that means it should automatically synchronize once you know the track so that you don't have issues of struggling to beat match or struggle to put everything to synchronize the two so your letterboxing should be on the bar so that it can clearly show you the flow of your beat as you are playing it then your auto mix should be turned off so you can see it for now except you want to run an auto mix if you put it on you'll be getting yourself into trouble because while playing the song the software will automatically take you to a track that you didn't begin or you switch the track to when you didn't plan for then after everything by the time you are done getting all these things done then the next thing you move into is to make sure you get your mapping ready we we'll stay on the set same settings We'll go back to the same settings under controller here you can see the mapping i'm using i have a couple of mapping here you can check the description box to get any by the time you get everything set i'm sure at this very moment you're good to go all you have to do is with your keyboard with your keyboard and all the necessary settings that you can get for this channel i'm sure you'll be good to go let's get to see so you can see very simple startup we are going to introduce the drum part to it to see that to tell you that everything is set so you have a taste of the drum part let's put on some sound effect on it So you have enjoyed the sound effect all these things are there in the description box for you let's get over to the scratch and drop the next track on it everything here on the keyboard let's get to see So you can see i've scratched i've dropped the next track you can see everything just flow smoothly as if nothing is happening i'm sure you listening to this i'm sure you are enjoying every vibe that comes with it so that is what it takes to be a dj these things you cannot really work on it overnight you really need to put in the effort with some little token to go with it becoming a very good dj doesn't happen overnight you have to be deliberate about it success is not made for everybody because it's only those who really put in the work and are really to invest money in developing themselves that become successful at the end of the day. That is the truth. Nobody, you will not find success anywhere for free. That is the truth. The earlier you know that, the better for you. So put in the effort and try to save some little change to get some more trainings to make yourself better. You can check the link. I have a couple of things I'm putting up. Just keep on it. You continue to get more. For those who think it's a waste of money, don't worry. Very soon. You will see that they have left you behind. 70 years old man, you never see anything.